However, <coughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ, don't taste it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and my cat Betty is a little bit squashed up there, but she's actually down there, but that's the photo. You get it, anyway. I said I wasn't gonna do any more makeup videos. I'm not a beauty guru, I'm not trying to be a beauty guru. I'm not gonna be doing many of these makeup videos because... <laughs> but where there's money to be spent, there's videos to be made. So, personally, I don't think this is like full on makeup. I think this is like a strange hybrid skincare finishing makeup products. Sorry, I'm missing a nail. Don't ask. So, I decided to try some products from Patrick Ta. He basically has a skincare line called Major Glow. It's Major Glow 2.0 specifically. And basically, it's like all these things that are very glowy and kind of natural looking and not very powdery. That's what I'm interested in. I love cream products. I like to be a big, greasy, sloppy mess. There's good reason for my glistening skin and how I shine. That's just what I like to do. <laughs> like I even, if I'm feeling dry or if I want a bit of a pick me up, I will go into my handbag, get my lip balm out and swipe it on my face for a highlighter. Totally unique, completely not ever been done before. Like I'm not playing around. So I got these products. It's kind of like a more sophisticated version of my little lip balm hack. I don't recommend that you do it because I mean like, I don't know if we're seeing this different, like. Uh, speaking of skin, what is she doing? Anyway, and also if you watch my review on M Cosmetics, um, I like basically died about the eyeliner. I'm wearing it today. Darling, she is crusting up and flaking off. So I take that back. I take back what I said about the eyeliner. It's crusting up exactly like the Dolly Wink one crusts up. Sorry if I keep doing this, it's very comfortable. Um, and I got this top today as well from uh, For Love and Lemons. It's like a little crop business sort of thing. It's very comfortable. I probably don't need to wear a bra with it, but that's just what I'm doing anyway. Okay, so the first product I'm talking about is the Patrick Tar Lip Mask. This is amazing. I've been using this for probably three or four years now, and I, w I put all my friends onto it. I've told all my colleagues about it. I said this is the one, don't bother with anything else, it's $3, it's the best, no bitch. This is actually better. This is so softening and it makes your lips so smooth. I've never, I've never experienced anything like it. And it's kind of got like a minty vibe to it, which I don't mind. Like it's weird to have it in a mask, I think, because it's kind of like, I don't really care about plumping and I, but it's there anyway. It's not too violent, but like, you know, it's cute. Yeah, I love it. And you don't need much at all. Like a little goes a really long way. Whether or not it's worth the price, I don't know. If you're interested in these products, I'd definitely say it's worth the price. If you don't really care about lip balm and you know, your lips don't get that dry, then I wouldn't bother. Just stick with the chapstick, you know? The next one is this lip gloss. So there's about three shades. I've got the shade, is she younger than me? It's a question. It's the shade name. So, ugh. I wasn't sure which colour to get because really, I know it's a very sheer formula. It's not going to make much of a difference what colour I got. However, you know, I wanted to make sure they're the right one. So I read the reviews and they all raved on about this colour, which is the brightest, pinkest of them all, which I was a bit sceptical about because like, you know me, I'm really not, I'm not into the whole, you know, colouring of the lips business. I just, I just want it to be moist. Moist. Yuck. Okay, anyway. So basically, I read the reviews and they said, oh, it's so subtle, it's so gorgeous. It's just a beautiful pink shade to add to the lips and it's just a little bit of glitter and whatever. It's very sophisticated, darling. Let me put this on for you. Yeah, you can't see, but there's actually big pieces of like bright pink glitter. And when you go like this, like all the glitter goes around the rim of your mouth and it's it's not the cutest. But on camera you can hardly see any glitter, so I guess that kind of defeats what I'm saying. But in person you can see big chunks of pink glitter and it's not sophisticated, it's not cute, and it's kind of very child craft lip gloss. But my first makeup kit sort of thing. Um but the texture's nice. It's just I don't know what those other people were seeing when they were writing those reviews. Like they clearly can't see that the big chunks of glitter. They need to get their eyes tested, like optometrists, like. You stop trying to be a damn bitch. There certainly is pink glitter. I don't mind it. I'm not saying I don't mind it. It's just, it's not the subtle, oh, it just adds a rosy thing. Like it's, it's, you can see it in person that there are big chunks of pink glitter. I don't hate it, but it's just something to keep in mind. Anyway. All right, and the next one I got was this face mist. It's uh, called She's Thirsty Major Glow Dewy Milk Mist. Yeah, it's the mist that he has at the moment. He's only, he's only got one at the moment, I'm pretty sure. Um, it just says shake well, mist all over face. Bitch, before I bought this, I didn't read the intro. I didn't read the ingredients. What am I doing? What's this? I must have had a lapse of judgment, but I didn't read the ingredients. 
the first ingredient in this is water. Now you're asking, oh well, obviously it's a mist, it has to have water in it. But darling, no, this is meant to be hydrating. How can it be hydrating if the first ingredient is water? I've got another delivery, hold on. Are you an addict? Yeah. Now, um, so the mist, yes, okay, the mist. So the thing with water is it evaporates, right? It doesn't actually, your skin doesn't really absorb water, it just evaporates. Anyway, and so when you put water in a face mist, in a mist that claims to be hydrating, it's gonna look fine when you first start spraying it around, it's gonna look fine. It's gonna look dewy, beautiful, I'll do it now. However, <coughs> <coughs> Don't taste it. So the thing with this water mist is that when water evaporates, there's something called transpiration. And transpiration is basically when water evaporates off something. So for example, even a leaf, even if water lands on a leaf, right? And um, the leaf has moisture on it, whatever now, and the sun hits it, it starts to evaporate. As that water evaporates off the leaf, it's going to pull another droplet of water from the leaf to the outside of the leaf. Get to the point. Would you at least explain what you're talking about? So what that means is that basically when the when this mist spray evaporates off my face, it's gonna pull a little layer of water with it as well out of my skin, which is not what you want. That's dehydrating. That's that's the opposite effect of what I'm looking for. And I don't know if it really makes that much of a difference, to be honest. Like for what it's worth, I don't know if that mist is actually worth it. But I mean, if what I said doesn't really matter to you, then. It has a very nice fine mister, it's lovely packaging, smells nice, tastes like shit. I said what I said! If I had read the ingredients, I wouldn't have bought it, so... The last one that I'm very excited about, I think this could be my greatest lip balm dupe, would be this All Over Glow Balm. It, I'm excited about this. Chloe, we're going to Disneyland! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> so I haven't tried it yet because I was just excited to use it for the video. It was at this point that my mom actually came home and she's talking really loud on the phone, so I just couldn't record. But anyway, we're just gonna continue. So this is the All Over Glow Balm, and I got it in the lightest shade, obviously. It has a little seal there, lovely. It smells so good, like cotton candy, vanilla. It's incredible. Anyway, and so I just swiped it across everywhere, really. I put it on my cheeks, my chin. I put it on my forehead, on my nose. I put that shit on everything. These products are a little hard to show in the light or on camera because they're not actually like blinding highlights but overall i love the effect it's like my lip balm hack but a hundred times better if you're interested in the glowy kind of look i would highly recommend it but if not then don't worry about it so the mist was definitely a big fat no the all over glow balm was a big fat yes now the lip mask you know i absolutely love it you need to get it if you're into that thing and the gloss was kind of you know personal preference so overall i'm pretty happy with this haul don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps me a lot as you can see i'm completely self-funded so any help i can get is greatly appreciated so go ahead and click those buttons for me. Um, I hope you have a lovely day. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Bye-bye.